All right, today we're going to be talking about the top six most overpowered items in Wrath of the Lich King. At number six, we have Brin Troll. Now, this weapon is really far too underrated based on how little I see people talking about it online. This weapon did far more DPS than any other weapon with equivalent item level. It could very nearly guarantee you getting Gladiator in PvP since it was so overpowered and completely broken. I remember we would stress the troll part of Bryn Troll because it was like Blizzard was trolling us with how stupidly overpowered this weapon was. I mean, it was insane. It received powerful nerfs when Blizzard finally realized how overpowered it really was. Now, this weapon is a two-handed axe, and most importantly, it has a chance to steal 2,412 to 2,664 life from the target enemy with no internal cooldown. Now, the exact proc chance was at approximately 15%, and what else is insane is that the life steal scaled with any percent damage increase that affected spell damage, such as Avenging wrath curse of elements blood presence and so on so this could really do a ton of damage and it procs a whole lot and and speaking of procs it could literally proc off of any weapon attack even death knight diseases death knight disease application uh paladin seal of vengeance tick even the application of seal of vengeance uh but this was kind of buggy right if you wanted these procs you had to be facing the target and you had to be within melee range for those dots to actually cause the proc if a death knight attacked with scourge strike which does physical and shadow damage it could proc twice from a single ability okay now imagine you know a, a, a scourge strike hits for maybe 4k well then imagine like it literally doing double damage and the in the death knight gaining that because it procced twice off of a single scourge strike it's ridiculous and again, it's scaled with things like Ebon Plague, Desolation, Rage of Rivendare, and so on. Now listen guys, I'm, I'm serious when I say this, the thing was broken. It was not just crazy burst damage, but the wielder is getting healed for the exact amount that they're, you know, doing damage. It's lifesteal. It literally just made me laugh. I remember going into Arena and I saw a death knight go from almost dead to full health from Brin Troll Prox. I'm like, what? what is this? It's like... Just equip Brin Troll and just win. It doesn't even matter if you're good or not. Just just equip Brin Troll. Instant glad. Of course, it was nerfed. Ghost Crawler, the community manager, wrote on January 8th, 2010, that it was a bug which allowed Brin Troll to proc too often for Retribution Paladins or Unholy Death Knights. For example, both portions of Scourge Strike could cause a proc, which is unintended. So it got nerfed to stop procking like a freaking madman. But even though it didn't proc as much, it was still very, very powerful in both PvE and PvP. And it is still sought after, especially for PvP over higher DPS weapons, something like Glorenzelg, because it is a completely overpowered proc for PvP. You can find this off of Lord Marogar, the first boss of Ice Crown Citadel, so it's not even that hard to get. I remember I used to run TSG. I had a Death Knight and a Pal or a Death Knight and a Warrior, and I was the Paladin. And I was like, "So, uh, when are you guys gonna go get? Um, when are you gonna go get Brin Troll? You know, when are we gonna finally actually start? Uh, you know, just winning." <laughs> <laughs> There's one of my neither of my DPS had Brin Troll. I'm like, what am I doing here? Why why am I with these two? <laughs> it was really that good. We're not gonna we're not gonna most likely get the Brin Troll. Um, uh, we're probably gonna get post nerf Brin Troll, but we'll see. All right, coming in at number five, we have Deathbringer's Will. This trinket goes down in Wrath history as one of the most iconic amazing trinkets it transforms your character into one of the na uh, one of the races of northrend granting you increased stats depending on your class for 30 seconds people prefer to get transformed into the tonka i don't know it's like a thing people like but here's a list of stat bonuses on the screen if you want to read through them but for example if you're a death knight you're going to get 600 strength 600 haste and 600 crit rating for 30 seconds insane stats of course, it's different for whatever class you're playing, but absolutely insane amounts of stats. Uh, I mean, it's it's just completely broken. So very, very good trinket. This is definitely going to be something that people are going to go after. If it's good in, in GDKP, it's going to go for an absolute ridiculous amount of gold. I mean, the item also provides 167 armor penetration just on equip, which is the best stat for physical damage dealing classes in Wrath. So this trinket is going to be in super high demand in Wrath. It is just so powerful 
Thankfully, the item does have a great drop chance at over 20% from the chest that drops after slaying Deathbringer Sourfang in Ice Crown Citadel on 25 man normal or heroic. All right, moving on to number four, we have Val Anir, Hammer of the Ancient Kings. This legendary item is an iconic, awe-inspiring symbol in Wrath. When you see a healer wielding this mace, you know that good things are to follow. This weapon is the first legendary healer mace ever added to World of Warcraft, minus the one in Tempest Keep, which is called Cosmic Infuser, which is not permanent. It's just for the KT fight. This weapon not only has really good stats, like really good stats, but it has an amazing proc. All healing spells have a chance to shield the target for 15% of the amount healed. This mace is amazing for all healers except Discipline Priests, which mainly use shields for damage mitigation instead of healing. Now, in order to obtain this amazing legendary, you need to collect 30 fragments of Volunir, which have a chance to drop from every single boss in Ulduar on heroic mode, and a 100% chance to drop off Yog Saron on heroic. Once you have 30 fragments, you can then start this quest chain, which, which requires you to throw the mace into the mouth of Yog Saron during phase three. If done successfully, you can complete the quest, and you're awarded with one of the most iconic healing weapons in Wrath, and an absolutely amazing healing weapon. At number three, we have Solace of the Defeated for Alliance or Solace of the Fallen if you're a horde. They have different names. It's the same item. This ridiculous trinket changes the way you play the game. It literally will change the way you play the game. It grants 168 spell power, but also each time you cast a spell, you gain 18 MP5 stacking up to eight times. 18 times eight is 144, and that is in addition to any other MP5 you might have from Blessing of Wisdom or Mana Spring Totem. As a healer, you go from watching your mana to only watching your raid's health bars. Your mana issues are done. They are gone. And it is definitely needed. Heroic Lich King 25 man is a very, very long fight. And without this trinket, you would have problems. Now, there are a few items on this list that change the way you play the game. <laughs> because, because of that... This is very high on the list. Uh, I mean, it procs off of any spell, by the way. So, like, even if placing your totems as a shaman or astral recalling them uh, or just recalling your totems, it, it's just it's super easy to keep the 144 MP5 up at all times. And as you can imagine, with an item that this that is this good in PVE, you better bet people are going to go bring that over to PVP, and it's going to be super broken there. I mean, imagine in arena not being able to run out of mana easily, easily best in slot for healers if you're running a comp that can survive some serious burst damage you're going to outlive any other team that doesn't have this this trinket it's just so good this drops off of lord jaraxxus in trial of the crusader but the drop chance is pretty low unfortunately all right coming in at number two we have the twilight scales these are a series of trinkets that drop from halion in the ruby sanctum the final raid in the wrath of the lich king these trinkets remind me of those obscenely powerful trinkets in sunwell plateau like the splinters from uh, the naru or whatever uh it's the last raid so keep that in mind that blizzard was just like all right here have some super mega overpowered trinkets all right so let's see here we got sharpened twilight scale 184 armor penetration on equip and a chance when you deal damage to gain 1472 attack power for 15 seconds Wow, okay. Charred Twilight Scale increases haste by 184 on equip, and damaging spells have a chance to grant 861 spell power for 15 seconds. Amazing. You've also got the tanking scale. You got the Petrified Twilight Scale. Melee attacks which reduce you below 35% health cause you to gain 18 dodge. Okay, 18% chance to dodge. Wow, for 10 seconds. That is amazing, by the way, since some tanking abilities scale off of dodge, by the way. Nudge, nudge, death knight, tank. All right, all right, so Army of the Dead reduces damage taken equal to dodge plus parry chance. So this procs, and then a death knight will then immediately use Army of the Dead, and then they will then gain 20% damage reduction. There, I spelled it out. That's what you got to do if you're a death knight tank. <laughs> Then there's also the glowing twilight scale, which gives 215 spell power and an on-use effect, which causes your direct healing spells to have your target heal themselves and all allies within 10 yards for 402 each second 
for six seconds. So six times 400, that's like 2,400. It's on a two minute cooldown. Very, very nice raid healing trinket. So there you go, guys. Like these are amazing trinkets. Try to get these when Ruby Sanctum comes out. Super powerful. And last, at number one, we have the one, the only, Shadow Morn. This beast has insane stats, three red sockets, over 100 armor penetration, over 100 crit rating, and all attacks give you a chance to gain 30 strength, stacking up to 10 times. 30 times 10 is 300. When reaching 10 stacks, you're also going to deal 2,000 shadow damage split between all enemies within 15 yards and also gain 270 additional strength for 10 seconds absolutely the best weapon in wrath because it will scale with your character better better than any other weapon and to be honest it's not super easy to get there's a pretty lengthy quest chain involved i'm not going to go through it all um to get you started though you have to be friendly with the ashen verdict and you got to find light's vengeance which is arthas's old mace it's in dragon blight and the following quest chain once you find it is both epic in terms of lore and difficulty if you like the video i would appreciate a like and a subscribe if you want to see more check out this video above my head if you want to learn about all the amazing gold farms you can do in wrath i'll see you there